Hello and welcome to Ambition News. You are watching English Bulletin with me, Ratnakar. Here's the news in detail. With the number of single day COVID-19 positive cases decreasing in Nagpur, the deaths due to the novel coronavirus also have come down. On Friday, the district registered 10 deaths due to COVID-19 and 197 fresh cases in the last day. Total 428 persons became free from the coronavirus in the district, taking the cumulative of recoveries to 4,61,881 new cases in the city. Meanwhile, from the total positive cases in the day, 120 were from city and 73 belongs to rural areas, while from total deaths, 5 were witnessed in city and a single death in rural areas. The cumulative of deaths and positive rose to 8,943 and 4,75,399 respectively. With the fresh updates, the active cases in the district came down to 4,575. The recovery rate went up to 97.16%. The administration is appealing to people to not to be complacent even though cases are reducing. An unidentified person struck at a man's house in the Kadaganju area and decamped with Rs 1 lakh in cash and other valuables worth Rs 81,000 when the owner had gone to Pune between May 31st and June 1st. A resident of Old Mangalwari, Belinda Itkelwar, along with his family, had gone to Pune for some function. Taking advantage of the house, an unidentified miscreant gained entry into Milan's second floor house through a window in the intervening night of May 31st and June 1st. The burglar broke open the latch of the bedroom and decamped with rupees 1 lakh cash and gold ornaments and some important documents collectively worth rupees 1 lakh 81,000. Lakarganj PSI Shinde, based on victim millions, it was complaint, registered a case under relevant sections of IPCN, searching for the unidentified. The second wave of the pandemic corona was an eye opener for all, especially for the health infrastructure in the city. Though there are government hospitals, but the need of a dedicated children's hospital of at least 500 beds capacity is the need of our said social worker Dr. Praveen Dabli. While talking to reporters, Dabli further added that the population of the city is currently above 46 lakhs. In 2011, the population was around 24 lakhs. If we compare the population of children in the year 2011, 0 to 6 years, children were 2 lakhs 57,438 and girls from 0 to 6 years was 2,39,649. This population now have almost doubled in 2021. Also, if we look at, at latest figures in rural, the children 0 to 18 years are 5,73,294, including urban and rural. This figure goes up to 15 lakhs. The Atal Mission for Rejuvenation and Urban Transformation Water Supply Scheme is being implemented to expand, upgrade and strengthen the water supply system in the unauthorized and slum areas under the jurisdiction of the Nagpur Municipal Corporation. It is noteworthy that the necessary tender process has been started for this and the required amount has also been proposed in the budget presented by the Chairman of the Standing Committee, Prakash Boyer. This project is Union Minister Nitin Gadkari's dream project. Mayor Dayashankar Tiwari has initiated efforts to complete the project in a timely and effort-effective manner. The city of Nagpur is expanding all around and new settlements are being formed. Presently, there is no network of water infrastructure in outskirts of the Nagpur. The purpose of this scheme is to expand, upgrade and strengthen the water supply system in areas under Nagpur municipality's jurisdiction. Three miscreants attacked and robbed a delivery man at a petrol pump in Sonega police jurisdiction on Thursday afternoon. The accused trio has been arrested. The complainant, Divakar Naval Kishore Tiwari, resident of Beltarudi area, was on duty at the Indian oil petrol pump in Uchwal Nagar, Varda Road, around 1.30 p.m. on Thursday. At the same time, the three accused, Anil Shankar Rao Ankhede, resident of Pawan Bhumi, Somalwada Ajay Chakku Yadav, Shivan Gao, and Rupesh Arun Varankar, resident of Paich Gao Nagar, came to the petrol pump on the pretext of filling fuel. But instead of filling petrol, the accused forcibly snatched money from the worker's pocket. On protesting, the accused re attacked him with a knife and injured him. Accused also threatened to kill the worker. Soniga woman, PSI, the K ward, booked and later nabbed the accused trio under relevant IPC sections. Well, that's all from this bulletin. For more updates in and around the city, stay tuned with NBC News. Till then, Ratnaka says goodbye. Please take very good care of yourself and family. Keep watching NBC News. Sajdi Khai, Bina Chupai.